Hey everyone, this is Cindy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you the five pairs best boots for autumn winter. In this video, I'm going to take you through what the styles are, what the heel heights are, what can you wear them with or how to wear them and also where you can get these. I'm going to share alternatives with the boots style that I share with you today. So please sit tight and uh, let's begin. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't and uh, give my video a like, thank you. The first pair is a pair of knee high boots. Here it is. It's knee high this one and then has a, a slight heel to it. You can see this is like um, structured heel, but it's very, very comfortable with slight pointed toe um, to these boots. And this pair is from Arkite. I got these during COVID because I have a very, very wide calf and uh, took me ages to find a pair of boots that could accommodate my thick calf. So when I tried this on and uh, I was just so happy and then they have been one of my wardrobe staples since. You can see that this has like a leather sole but I haven't resold it and uh, I tried to not wear this in the rain but however it just couldn't be avoided living in the UK. But they've never been, been really slippery and the heels is about six centimeters high and which makes it quite practical to walk in and the shaft is comes up quite high just below the top uh, below my knees and uh, they're super comfortable and this can be worn with so many different outfits like leggings and jeans and and dresses and skirts so outfits can be worn with this is endless i'm going to insert some outfits on the screen so you can see so because these sort of boots and they're quite practical they're quite well made with calf leather you can see that this one has no zip but you just have to pull it up and uh, the tip for the long boots is that you, if you wear them with a skirt or dress don't wear them with bare legs because when you take them off it's going to be really difficult so always wear some knee-high socks or leggings or maybe thick socks that covers up the whole length or maybe just below um, the edge so you won't show it it won't interfere with your outfit so just wear some socks so when you take them off it's going to be super easy and this pair was I think it was 350 pounds. Yes, it is um, on the expensive side, but not luxury designer because I always love the riding boots from OMS, but I just couldn't pull my legs into them because the shafts are not very forgiving. They're very, very narrow, so it's not designed for me. But So I, in the end, went for this pair and it's so simple. You can see there's no buckles, there's no other zips just so simple but this pair can last for a lifetime so that's why I don't mind of paying a little bit more than usual you know the materials are good the quality is great and the style is timeless so therefore is a forever piece to be in the wardrobe so I'm going to have some suggestions and popping them up on the screen so you can see uh, where you can get um, boots like this and especially if you have a slightly wider calf
pair number two is this chunky heel suede material and uh, round toe ankle boots. This pair has been in my wardrobe for so many years. This is not real suede and uh, is synthetic suede but it's very comfortable and I wear this quite a lot in the winter or in the autumn. The colour is super versatile. It can be worn with so many different colours like white, white jeans and black jeans and cream jeans, blue and grey. So this is such a versatile colour that can be worn with so many different things. I mean this is also can be worn with uh, skirts and dresses. So this can be paired together um, with loads of different outfits. And this pair was very, very cheap. And because my friend brought this back from China for me and it just didn't cost that much at all. I think it was about 25 pounds. Uh, I love it since it, this is just so comfortable. So it's always, you can opt for something like with a chunkier heel. And so they're designed for the day to day, which is, um, make the cost per wear very very low even though this pair is not very expensive however if you want to buy poop boots always opt for a better quality I mean even though this one is cheap price is not that high but the quality is impeccable that's why I love it I've been looking for a, a pair of slightly darker than this but I just haven't been able to but I have seen a pair from Totemi, I might end up getting that and it's a dark chocolate brown pair which you can see on the screen but this one is one of my favourite pair of boots in my wardrobe again I'm going to insert outfits for this and the suggestions where you can buy a pair similar like this this is the second pair and uh, with alternatives and I'm going to show them up on the screen and uh, they're not limited to any brands because I shop everywhere I'm not limiting myself oh I only shop luxury I only shop high street I only shop this and that but I just wear anything that it suits me suits my lifestyle suits my wardrobe suits my style therefore I'll take the plunge if it's something more expensive uh, obviously it'll take me a you know a little longer to go for it because obviously it's quite a lot of money I don't want to just like frivolously just spend that amount of money just for, for a for the sake of getting a pair of shoes I'd rather wait a little bit think about it try around and then decide which pair is the best so therefore I wouldn't live in regret for the next 10 or 20 years and pair number three is a pair of pointed toe slightly higher ankle boots with this cowboy-ish looking um, heels you can see I always love boots with a little bit of heel because it gives you a lift and make you feel a bit more elegant but you might not be me but I'm a heel girl so I love heels so this pair is super comfortable super well made and the calf skin it just the leather is so shining and got a very luxurious shine to it and this one has no zip either you can see my, all my shoes boots have no zips and this one is just basically has two uh, 
what do you call it, elastic panels on either side and at the back there's a little pulling thing you can put them on quite easily and this pair was from Azimo Duty and I got this I think was it last year or the year before and you know Mazimo Duty shoes they're not overly expensive but it's not cheap uh, I wouldn't say it's cheap but this pair is just I love it so much. I think this pair was the most worn boots uh, from last winter and since I've got it. And it goes with wide leg trousers. You can see this pair of boots in loads of my OOTDs even for this year and since last year as well. And I just love it. And it's super comfortable. You can wear this to go shopping, go into to the office and uh, just a day to day, even weekend office for smarter occasions. I want this with long pencil skirts. So these are such a pair of versatile boots. I opted this for a pointed heel uh, toe because I think pointed toes is slightly smarter than rounded toe for a smarter occasions. I mean, you can wear this in the winter and the evenings or you go for lunch or go for a dinner if you feel a little bit chilly so you can just wear this pair of boots and with your dress and over some tights because the shaft is very very narrow with these elastic bands so it hugs the ankle really really well but it's not landing in a very awkward position or height that digging into the calves it's very flattering so this is why I just love it so much and again I'll insert some outfits on the screen and then alternatives where you can get this pair that is similar and uh, so yes this is something that is worth to consider in this sort of style and a design to have in the winter uh, and autumn and this can be a forever piece in the wardrobe as well And number four is a pair of this is walking boots I call it is has this rich dark chocolate brown color and with rounded toe and with this sort of like fine track soles with a chunky heel but is I call this like flat this, this is like a three and a half probably centimeters tall with a heel so you know I always love slightly a little bit of a lift and so but this one is just designed for walking and again there's no zip so again it's just pulling on with the tag at the back and the elasticity is being sewn in between the leather panels so this one is very huggy and this has a lower shaft if I compare this with the black pair, you can see um, the height of the shaft is quite significantly shorter. It's about a couple of inches shorter. You get some ideas. And uh, this pair is from um, Hermes. And because you can see from the little tag there, but there's no obvious logos, but you can see from the track because it's all italic H's on the sorry about this little stone <laughs> uh, yeah so italic H's on the sole and uh, this pair was so comfortable and they're designed for walking and uh, they're smart yet casual and uh, it's something in between I always love this something like not completely casual not completely too smart so it can be adapted into either smart or casual if I wear this over the weekend I'll wear this with jeans or uh, tracksuit bottoms or those like wide legged uh, wet pants or if I go into the office I can also wear this with jeans 
dark jeans and then wide leg trousers they still make me look quite smart and because the color is sort of not black and is a brown color and uh, so it goes with loads of neutral toned clothes like beige gray gray uh, brown black white so it just goes with so many different things so if you consider uh, of buying a pair of investment boots go for something with a more classic color and a more classic design therefore they will never ever go out of so-called fashion because with those ones with lots of buckles and embellishments they are always in and out of fashion this year might be fashionable the next year you see hardly anyone wear them therefore you just reluctant from wearing them therefore is cost per wear is going to be higher uh, than usual but if you always wear them winter in winter out you buy a pair of boots they can last for like 10 or 20 years so it's a pair of boots that is worth investing so yeah this is something that I really love I'm going to uh, insert some outfits and some alternatives for you as well so you can get something similar or opt for a pair like this from Hermes Last but not the least is a pair of flat boots. This time is super flat and uh, so is again is ankle boots. This pair is from Lo Wei and uh, we had a rounded toe and it, you can see this is quite wide and it's like a little a slightly platform but I don't think it has any platform and also again this one has no zips either just um, pull them up and then with two elastic panels on either side and I usually treat this as my um, trainers alternatives because otherwise I'm always have some really dark colored boots black brown or a uh, beige or you know lighter brown or sort of a color so but use this pair I'm just like on a day if I feel I want to wear trainers but it's a bit cold and then I would wear this pair of boots so I worn this with cream white beige camel coats and black and white and gray so it goes with endless of choices so this one is just super comfortable I can wear these and walk in them for hours and hours and it never gave me any aches on the foot from walking for so long and they're very very versatile and uh, is super comfy and the only downside with this pair of boots is that like the weight is quite heavy but you don't have to get the same exact pair i got these in the sale about three winters ago and this was from low way i think i got it all like 50 percent off and i was well chuffed so yeah maybe winter sales or christmas sales is the best time to, to get yourself a pair of really uh, nice well-made uh, designer pairs it make the price a lot lower but it's something that this would last forever in my wardrobe so that's the last pair and uh
that's it for today. I hope you like my recommendations on the five pairs of best winter boots. And uh, I hope you also enjoyed my recommendations on the brands or the style and where to get them or how to wear these boots and all the outfit ideas. So thank you so much for tuning in. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I'm so grateful for your support towards my small channel and I give my video a kind like. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye bye.